Black Gold, Oil, Texas Tea. In this objective, we'll learn to name alkane chains and rings. An alkane is a saturated hydrocarbon. Note that there's carbons and hydrogens only in an alkane. So let's test your knowledge. Stop the video and answer this question. And the answer is both. Alkanes are a major component of petroleum. And the waxy substance on the surface of the leaves is also an alkane. Methane, which is the major component of natural gas, can be extracted from the ground using microbes. Hydrocarbons are insoluble in water, and they're also used as fuels. If we want to convert an alkane to another organic function group, it's not easy to do because alkanes are unreactive. Alkenes and alkynes with pi bonds are much more reactive than alkanes. Later in this course, we'll see how light is used to convert an alkane to alkyl halide. Alkane chains and rings are considered saturated hydrocarbons because there's four single bonds to each carbon. That is, each carbon is saturated with hydrogens. Saturated means that there is the maximum number of H's bond to each carbon. Bigger alkanes will have isomers, then we'll also classify the carbons in alkanes as either primary, secondary, or tertiary carbons. Stop the video and answer these four questions. And the answers are... So let's test your knowledge again. Stop the video and answer this question. And the answer is all. This diagram shows the many uses of petroleum. The aliphatics are the hydrocarbons. Not only is petroleum used as a fuel, but it is also used to make soaps, as well as other organic compounds. This diagram shows how various hydrocarbons are used to make soaps, and also the principal applications. The different soaps have different properties, and that determines the applications. These compounds are found in herbicides. Note the variety of functional groups in each compound. These two compounds are insecticides. Insecticides often have the alkyl halide group in it. These two compounds are found in raw peanuts and contribute to the aroma. Organic compounds are classified by functional groups. Biomolecules, which include lipids, proteins, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids, uh, are also organic compounds. One way to classify lipids is based on lipid backbone, so triglycerides are also the triacylglycerols, and we've heard of cholesterol before. Antibiotics are classified by structure. Penicillin is an example of beta-lactam. Beta-lactams have that square beta-lactam ring. Neomycin, which is found in neosporin, is an example of an aminoglycoside, and then tetracycline is a big compound with four interconnected rings.